the magnitude of forces remain same and this distance is L, is the deformation curve will be downward. And is this deformation here will be for point load. And this deformation is Y1 equal to PL cube divided by 3 times of EI. So if the force is shifted, we get a couple or a moment PA. And because, this, because of this anticlockwise, is a deformation of this one will be like this. And this value will be Y2. Is this value Y2 will be equals to M L square upon 2 times of EI which is equals to P times A L square upon 2 times EI. But we want the deformation at A should be equal to 0. So Y1 must equals to Y2. So your P will be cancel L square is 1 L divided by 3 and on other side we have A by 2. So is A by L is 2 by 3. So in this L type of cantilever, if we have a load at F, the load F will do the bending effect. Even it will do the bending effect, the vertical displacement of this bar is not possible. That is given to you. So if this no load is available there, then shall we apply one fixious load? So let us say one fixious load will be like this, that equals to Q. And we will solve this problem by strain energy method. Consider distance, consider a section at distance x. So about this point, what is the value of mx? At this point, at this point, is a F will do the clockwise moment. F will do the clockwise moment. And is that moment is F into H. And is this moment is independent of X. But is the moment due to Q about point Q, about point this point, is it dependent on X. And is that is also clockwise. So this is Q times X. F square, S square plus Q square, X square plus 2 times of F, Q, H into X. So the strain energy for bending is given by integral 0 to L. mx square, mx square is f square, s square plus q square, x square plus 2 times of f, q, h into x <coughs> multiplied by dx and whole thing is divided by 2 times of EI. So U equals to 1 upon 2 by EI is common quantity. It is a F square X square multiplied by L plus 2 times of Q L Q by 3 plus 2 times of F H L square by 2. To find out the horizontal deflection at point P, we will differentiate you with our fixious load. 
So 1 upon 2e, first quantity is 0, second quantity is 2 times. I think यहाँ पे क्यों बचा है ना? That is okay. Second quantity is q square, l cube by three. Third is two times f times q times h l h l by two. L square by 2. Is it correct? So, what is del u by del q? So, this is a vertical displacement at point P by Castile-Legano theorem. So, 1 upon 2 e i, first term is 0, second term is twice q, L q upon 3 plus 2 times of f h 2 will be cancelled and finally you have to put q equals to 0 so that is the final displacement so y p will be equals to f h l square correct divided by is it six times of e i so we have given a cantilever for one load is four kilo newton and one is two kilo newton you want to find out deflection at free end let try for 4 kN first and then we will go for 2 kN. So, x bar for this one is 2.33, area is 1 by 2, 8 by 2 into equal to 8 and x1 is 2.33. Now, let consider FBD for second figure. FBD for second figure is also triangle with the maximum value of bending moment is 6. and the length is 3 meter. So, the centroid distance will be 2 by 3 of L. That is x2. So, area A2 will be 1 by 2 into 1 by 2 into 6 into 3 is 9 kilo Newton meter square x2 x2 is 2 by 3 2 by 3 is 2 plus 9 into 2 this one is kilo kilo is 10 to the power 3 kilo newton na? so 10 to the power 3 is it newton meter cube value of e is 200 10 to the power 9 and 10 to the power 8 is 10 to the power minus 4 So, what is the statically indeterminate means? The number of unknowns are exceed than 3. Let us say 4, 5, 6, 7. Then the three classical mechanics equation, sigma fx 0, sigma fy 0 and moment equals to 0, we are not able to find out all reactions. So, additional equations can be generated using deflection. Three sets of equations plus additional equation you can generate using deflection equations which are hereafter called as compatibility equations. 
so we have a cantilever and we have three reaction ax ay ma at point a and one reaction at by to solve this type of problem first assume that there is no roller and find out the vertical reaction at the roller so the deflection is w l to the power 4 divided by a t i and is this deflection is downward now assume that there is no load except b y so is it a point load acting at free end so what is the vertical displacement due to this load so we have a point load at free end so due to point load the deflection is by multiplied by l cube divided by twice ei now this deflection will be cancelled because the support at b will not permit to move the b beam ab in a downward direction and therefore the equation 1 must equals to equation 2 So equate this and find out value of by. So is the value of by is equal to w l three times eight no three times w l divided by eight. Okay, put this value back here. What is this by? Is three by eight w l by eight. This one is a y. 5 by 8 WL. So at this point C is the value of Vx is 0. So minus 3 by 8 WL plus Wx must equal to 0. So is x equals to 3 by 8 of L. 3 by 8 from which side? From B side or from A side? B side. So this is 3 by 3L three by 8. Mx equals to is the bending moment due to this load that is By is it anti clockwise? Is it positive? So this is positive. 3 by 8 W L multiplied by X. Correct. Then what is the bending moment by W load? Is it a clockwise? Clockwise is minus. Clockwise is minus. Is it W into X? into x by 2 is this is this is a negative parabola minus w x square so bending moment at this point will be equals to 0 at b it will be equals to 0 and will you have a parabola like this Correct. So we have a parabola up to this point. Again, we have a parabola. But what is the value at this point? Can we calculate value at C? Can we calculate value at C? So what is the value at C? The value at C you can calculate by putting x equal to what? 3L by 8. So maximum that is the value of 3 by 8 WL into 3L by 8 minus W by 2 3L by 8 square. So we have a cantilever and we have one central load that equal to P 
and at the free end we have one roller support construct smd and bmd